welcome back friends in this video we'll be talking about character displacement and that is another very similar idea with the resource partitioning uh, keeping one thing in mind uh, that we all know of and that thing is that uh, we know that two species if they belonging to the same ecological niche cannot coexist together without competition so always they will end up with some kind of competition so what we can do we can minimize the competition or we can fight for the competition that means if those two organisms fight with each other ultimately one will win one will lose the one will win uh, will stay in the environment stay through the evolution the one will lose will be extinct if the second uh, result is chosen that is uh, to stay together by compromising some habitat or some part of the niche and uh, to to do that there are several options like resource partitioning was one option which we saw like uh, they can partition and share their resource so that the species living in the top of this tree will not come down to this uh, other uh, resource for the species too they will only stay on their own partitioned space that is the resource partitioning that we saw but now we are going to see character displacement and that is another important thing that if two organisms are living in the same environment in the same region together still have the same niche in that case to minimize the competition what they can do is that they can incur some kind of changes in their body in their morphology for example finches there are different types of finches available and in finches some of them have uh, the beak of the finches are of such a variety some of them have very strong beak to crack seed of some fruits open on the other hand some have very very uh, thin and very 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 thin and long uh, beak to take nectar from the flower so it depends on what they are actually feeding on so they try to make much more diversified nature of their morphology so that they end up with less competition because if they have same kind of morphology and they rely on same type of food source to take uh, and same morphology they have in that case they will end up with some kind of competition and they end up with some kind of problem but if they change their morphology and they diversify their morphology in that case they will end up with less competition and less problem so let's see here in case of uh, character displacement it's not resource partitioning so i must release it this is character displacement character displacement so the idea remains the same that means if you take uh, the organism if you look at the organism let's say in this case this is a different idea i'm going to tell you but first i give you an example let's say there are two different islands this is island 1 and this is island 2 two different islands we are talking about and we are also talking about two different species now uh, one is species a and one is species b okay now if these two species they have same niche so they have same kind of uh, big structure right they have very strong big structure to crack the seeds of the of some fruits uh, to survive that is the food source for that organism so species a and species b big size and shape are similar very very similar if they stay to two different islands so species a in island one no species b here species b in island two no species a here so what we see here if i if i check if i check in a graph as, as their big size what will you find that they have same type of they have very very similar same big size They have same big size there okay now if by any means we find a third island where both of them forced to live together both of these organisms despite of their same niche tends to live together in this island and call it island of death just to make fun island of death or island of competition whatever you say now in this island if those two species stay together they have to in that condition what we'll have species a and we also have species b so now if we take species a and b after several uh, years of staying together we don't know how many years but several considered years to have evolutions and morphological modifications now if we take both of them if we take both of them and measure the big size we'll see difference 
in big size. And the more time they stay together, the difference is much more, right? This is called character displacement. That means <clears throat> if two organisms stay in a different habitat, in a different regions, in that case, this type of species have similar morphology. But if two organisms staying in the same habitat, they tend to have distinct morphologies to minimize the competition, right? Same species we are talking about, when they present in separate habitats, separate location, they have less morphological similarity. Uh, I mean, there are more morphological similarity, less dissimilarity. They have more similarities with each other, same kind of morphological features because though they do not need to change the morphology because they present in different habitats, they can present on their own way. But if they are forced to present in the same region, they have very distinct morphologies, right? That is character displacement. That means the character of that organism is displaced when they are placed in the different when they are placed in the same habitat. So, when two species present in the same habitat, they originate from one species, we call it a sympatric species, right? Same region, the organism separated. Sympatric species and allopatric species. There are two types of things out there. Sympatric and allopatric, we all know that, right? So, in sympatric species, if you see this one, so in sympatric species conditions, they have uh, <clears throat> this type where uh, they have less similarity. In allopatric speciation, however, the geographical speciation, however, you see few, uh, same type of morphology. So, that is the idea. For sympatric species, you see lot of character displacements because uh, they have to do lot of character displacements for staying with each other without any kind of competition. Still, they might end up with some competition, but they minimize it in much more extent. So that is the idea of character displacement. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and definitely subscribe to my channel to get more and more videos like this. Thank you.